Alright, another day, another Genshin Impact. Feels like I'm doing a chore right now. It doesn't feel like playing a game. <laughs> because, man, it's been two years. Two years I've been playing this game. I mean, it's not like I'm getting tired of it, but hey. At least it's one of, of the best games I've played so far. Another welcome, let's go. I have 10 days remaining. I mean, yeah. Gotta keep that Primo Counts Eddie. Gotta do some commissions first. Defeat the summoners. It should be easy. Can you can't use Pyro in this one. All of these pyro slimes outside attacking this kid outside of the city and no one's gonna come save him. Brilliant. Location, where is it? Wait. Oh, I have to go there. Of course. In the middle of the lake. Out of all places. This place is not very convenient to get to. So many of you asking me what phones, what type of phones I play. Well, I play on, on my iPhone 13 and of course it runs pretty smoothly. And it runs around 60 to 50 FPS most of the time, but sometimes it just drops to 30 to 15 FPS. And it's pretty annoying when that happens, especially when I'm playing Abyss. Like, I'm trying my best to complete the floor and trying to catch up with the time and everything, trying to drop a combo and sometimes the lag spikes just happens. And when that happens, and it just ruins everything. Really, it just... It sucks. But that's the price I have to pay when I'm playing this game. I don't know if it, if this game's supposed to be on mobile, but but so far yeah. I'm playing it, it's it's been a you know kind of smooth most of the time. But of course there are, there are times they just like it's bad. Wait, I have to beat this one. Can you see one wanted to just hold the shit? Out of me? There you go. Skill 150. 51,000. Is that 50k crit damage? God damn, I, I never expected my Mona to do such damage. That was crazy. I mean, that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Alright, to the next one. Oh, very convenient. You know, for me, I think playing this on mobile is not that difficult if you try it enough. Do my other sugar team. Damn, look at that. Fucking Mario going wild over there. Alright. God, it takes so much time. Oh, fuck off, mate. Yeah, man, it looks kind of trash. The crit damage, the crit ratio is kind of sucks on this team because I don't invest too much on this team. Actually, currently I'm investing on Dendro Traveler and Harley because I'm trying to make my budget Nilo team. It's not even completed yet, but still, it got me through Spiral Beast in this patch. It's just great though. Alright, see? The frame is starting to drop. Yeah. 10 minutes, around 5 minutes into the game when I play on my mobile, it's just the frame rate starting to go down and kind of stutter a little bit. Of course, it doesn't stay like that when it, it stay for like a minute or two and then it's just getting better. Let me show you guys. Alright. The graphics. So currently, the current performance load it's it's smooth. Most of the settings I set it to medium, and the FPS is sixty. I set it sixty because FPS matters, and I didn't turn on the motion blur because it's quite an annoyance to deal all the blurs around. I know it's it. Some of you think that it looks good, but it's not. It for me, it is really really hinders. So yeah, it's kind of a annoyance to me. So I'm just turn it off. So yeah. Most of the time, the FPS really smooth, just went pretty smoothly, 60 to 50, but if you play long enough, the frame rate just drops exponentially to 10 to 20 FPS. So next commission, we got two down, two more. Well, at least today's commission is not really that hard to deal with, not hard, it's just doesn't take too much time to deal with. Guards, the next one is what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure what's the next. Oh, impregnable, and it's of course it's in a tomb city. I, I think it's in Dragon Spine. It is. There's always that one commission that just going to take away your time, a lot of time to complete. Good thing, just one of them. 
I remember one time I got in Pregnant Defense and Dangerous Hall in one commission slate. It means it's just... <laughs> it's pretty annoying. I know it's not that hard, but it's pretty annoying on on how long to complete it. Huh? Don't mind my skill issue. Yeah. Just a casual player. Not really. I'm gonna try hard, actually. I love playing Spiral Abyss. Sad thing that they don't want to add any more endgame content because of anxiety stuff. But I don't want to get into that. I'm... I may talk about it later on. Alright, next one. Dragon Spines. I mean, it's sad to see that how dead this place is. I mean, same goes to Sumeru later on. Just imagine if they released all of the, all the nations of the bat. And Athlan, Fontaine, and Shnajnaya. Sumeru is gonna be dead. Even Mondstadt, the first nation ever released into the game. And Liyue too. I mean, we can still visit them, but there's nothing to it really. Especially when you explore 100% every single one of them. I hope they just kind of, you know, add a permanent endgame content and do something about it. You know what? I'm feeling I'm like playing the loop today. Maybe I switch to Rana Sherman after this. Because most of the time, I play Rana Sherman to clear things quickly. Considering that, I don't mean to flex, but I have C6 or the Shogun, by the way. And yeah, I'm free to play. And it's crazy, it, it, and it's crazy that some people just straight up not believing it. Saying that I'm capping. Yeah, you, you're free to spec speculate, but I'm speaking the truth here. There you go. It's 20, 60. 60 plus 90 equals to 110. 110 every single day. There's no defense, right? I think I completed all of the events. Version satisfaction survey. Oh my god, can't wait to fill that one out, yeah? Man, it's not like they're going to listen to us. Like, really. What are the odds of Hoyoverse actually listen to you when you fill out the survey? You give out all of your opinions, every single patch. What are the odds of Hoyoverse actually listens to you and implement on based what you want into the game? Tell me. None. Slim to none. Because I've been giving my opinions every single time they give out, you know, survey stuff and I just completed it and fill it out, send it to them, nothing's changed. I mean, so far, the only thing that added, added to the game is TCG and that's coming in the next patch. But I don't know if the TCG is going to change the game or try or will fill the void of this game. At this point, I'm just accept, just accepted that Genshin is going to stay like this because that is what what Hoyoverse wanted to. Of course it sucks. It sucks that they admitted that they're not, they're not going to try even adding more endgame content because that is what most of the players, I don't think it's most of the players, some of the players, including me, want some additional endgame content. Um, for me, it's just, I want more co-op stuff coming, it's like guild, guild stuff, all of that stuff, you know, so I can, interact with more players and play with my friends it would be fun actually it would be really really fun this is what you do as a game game player just do commissions finish the expeditions and then turn your resins to condense resins and then just finish them off that's it that's what you do i mean if there's an event then i just finish the events but that's not taking too long actually most of the events so far that actually takes your time because of the cutscenes. The cutscenes is really, really long. And if you really truly invest the storyline, then good. You have something to digest. But most of the time, players just don't give a damn about it. <laughs> they just keep it. Let's try to fill out the version satisfaction survey, yeah? Let's Let's show us, let's show them how satisfied we are about the game. Well, in this case, my satisfaction. Let's see. I was born in 2000. Male. Overall, how do you feel about this version of the game? Wow, how do I feel? Very unsatisfied. <laughs> I'm not gonna cap in and say, oh, I really, really enjoy this game so far when I'm not. It's just. Playing this game feels like a chore. It doesn't feel fun anymore. I mean, it's fun when I first play it because there's so much stuff to explore and, and then I think there might be a potential of this game and I really, really anticipated that. But no, it's just for me. 
there's nothing good coming. Sino. I don't know. I didn't remember. I, I don't have him. I don't have Venti. I don't have Nello. I never plan to pull all of, all of these characters. Just need my CC or the sugar, and that is more than enough. Candace. Desert region. To be honest, the desert region is actually really, really good. I'm not even kidding. It looks great. The environment is different, and, it's, and it's, it is refreshing to see a new region. But sad thing is, once you've done all of this region, if you completely explore this region, all of the nooks and crannies and stuff, and this this region will be dead, and you have nothing to do in this place. There's no additional content or any some kind of repeatable content. You, all in all. It's actually really, really good. I actually it's very satisfied. Overall, how satisfied are you with the with the off ballads and brews events? Off ballads and brews. The harvest season is coming soon. Or the the I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that word. Windless fast. Windless fast. Okay. Let me let me say this. All right. This event got a great storyline. It it it's actually. To simplify, it's just Razor's storyline, focuses on races and Mondstadt, that's all. And for me, it is neutral, because it's just the same, the format is the same. What truly draws me to the to this event is just the storyline. It's not bad. The storyline is not bad, it's actually good, but not great. I feel neutral about, the, about this, because the format is just the same. The minigames, yeah, I mean, mediocre at best, for me. Overall, how satisfied are you with the following story quests? Archon quest. Oh yeah, the Archon quest. Very satisfied. There are more, you know, actions into it. We can get to see some of the characters in action. I mean, it feels kind of alive, unlike before, where we just get one cutscene and then there's there's it. That's it. I mean, we get more epic cutscenes, which is really really great. Yeah, very satisfied. Sign a story quest. Uh, I played it. But because of Dory, <laughs> Dory was there and she she just made, she just carried this, the story quest. I say somewhat satisfied. Euro story quest, Lotus Somno. Hmm, Nilos. Okay, I don't know about Nilos. Because of Nilo, somewhat satisfied because she is cute. The downside is, the Nilo, Nilo story quest it just focuses on that one character, I don't know what whatever name is, it just focuses on that character, not focusing on who Nilo is, where did Nilo come from, and who trained Nilo. They're just very, very vague about her. And instead, they just focuses on this one character, and it's, I don't know, it's just, it just doesn't feel like it's Nilo's actual story quest. Satisfied are you with the storyline content in this version? Storyline content. It's very satisfied the story is good wind chaser <laughs> i'm gonna be real i'm just unsatisfied it's just it's quite boring actually all the systems i thought i could customize my own domain like wind chaser before it, have, have you guys remember that one event where we just like customize our own domain and share it to others i mean that's quite that's quite a good system and to be able to share it to players and to be able to enter players domain their customized domain i mean it's, it's really really fun you can do a heck ton of it. Star Seekers Sojourn. Oh, I'm not. I'm this it, it ain't fun. Hyakunin Iki. Let me tell you that. I'm very satisfied of this event. I'm just so confused why they make this as a temporary type of content, as an event. Why did do they just added a new endgame content? Again, again, I'm talking about this. And this is what makes, I think, this patch kind of carried in certain times, you know, because when Hyakuin and Iki was on, it, it was it was quite fun because I can play, I can test out my characters, I can test out some trial characters they offered. I mean, it's really, really good. How satisfied are you with the new weapons in this version of the game? New weapons including Staff of the Scarlet Sands. I don't, I don't have them. I didn't pay attention. How satisfied are you with the wish system in the current version? Uh, I say somewhat unsatisfied. Not because at the limited banner. The limited banner for me is there's nothing wrong, wrong, wrong with that. 
what kind of bothers me is the standard wish. Of course, they added Tainari into the slot, but they have to add Tainari because Tainari is the only first Kendro character to be introduced into the game, so they have to add him into the banner. But still, like, I wish that they could just do some rotation, you know, change the character to the OG one so that don't have, they don't have to do another child, child's rerun. Because <laughs> who wants child? Not me, to say the least. Not me. I don't need child. How satisfied are you with the benefits in this version of the game? With the with the benefits. Alright, the benefits so far, because of the story quest, because of the new regions, we get a lot of a tons of t stuff. And then, of course, tons of Primer Gems. I say, very satisfied. But on the side of events, I mean, there's nothing to it, actually. The benefits, it's just, it's just for me, it's the same as usual. How satisfied are you with the character and weapon enhancement materials in the current version? I mean, they're asking this all the time. They're asking this all the time. And, like, and there's nothing's changed. It's been three patches already. It's crazy. They're asking these same questions and there's no changes made. And not to mention the resins too. They're not going to change that. They're not going to increase the, re the resin's capacity. It's crazy. How satisfied are you with the music in this version of the game? The music is satisfied. I really, really like the music, especially the source of Shamsir, the Sumeru battle team. It, it is really, really good. How satisfied are you with the game language? I'm just gonna say satisfied. Voice over it is good. It's good. Co op experience. Now, I'm actually confused with this uh, question. What do they mean? Our satisfaction with the co op experience. I mean, this, the cops experience so far. I'm only play co-op whenever I try to beat Raiden Shogun's weekly boss. That's all there's to it. And there's no other content than domains and weekly bosses to play co-op. There's nothing, really, nothing. There's no issue of co-op at all. There's no, you know, latency, any some kind of communication issues. There's no. It's just there's so much little content that can that can be spent in co-op that's it there's no content for co-op in this game slim to none also the domains and weekly bosses you can just beat it solo satisfied are you with the game is security version of the game i'm just gonna say very satisfied because i haven't <laughs> i haven't paid any attention to it how satisfied are you with hoyoverse as a company <laughs> Man, they rarely ask this question to me. They've been treating this game, it's not like they're treating like a golden child or something. They just see this game as a, you know, like an ATM machine, just pump out all, all the money they can. It's not like they're going to fulfill all, the, all of the players' demands or whatever. Just, if you're asking endgame content, they're not going, they straight up denies it. Just no, we don't want to add more endgame content because of, and quote unquote anxiety when this game is actually based on FOMO. I don't I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know why they, they I don't know why they, they think that that was a good answer because we are care about the player's anxiety and we don't want to create any excessive anxiety. I mean come on. You can come up with a better excuse and at least fulfill some of the players demands or something. But they just nah end game content? Uh like every other gacha games that that implemented endgame content no we're not going to add, add anything because of anxiety lol lmao overall do you think that version 3.1 is energy consuming energy consuming not that much you know not not energy consuming at all not very energy consuming why because it, it's only consuming your time and energy at the early stage of this version because you have new regions to explore you have new events I mean the first events really takes your time because like again uh, the cutscene stuff and there's a lot of mini games that you can play but once you complete all of that you can complete all, all of those all of that content in a week and then after that there's nothing to do actually and the events that comes afterwards it takes around under 10 minutes to complete Except for Hyakuni Iki because you can test a lot of characters like I did. I did a lot of, you know, testing here and there. 
and it took me a lot of time and there's nothing wrong about it i i feel it it fun it was it, it was fun actually it was fun i really like hyakuni iki so all in all it's not really that energy and time consuming at all especially when you as a free to play player end game end game player you just it just doesn't take that much of a time and energy to complete it daily how willing are you to continue experience Genshin Impact? I'm just gonna be salty here. Definitely not willing. <laughs> how willing are you to recommend Genshin Impact to your friends? I have a lot of friends asking me, is, is Genshin Impact fun? Is Genshin Impact worth to play? And I always said them this. I, I didn't say straight up no to them. No. I said them, I said it that Genshin Impact is fun. It really is, it really is fun, but it might not be the game that you wanted it to be. Because most of my friends ask me most of them are played you know games like epic 7 final fantasy brave exvius and they expected that genshin impact have that kind of vibe to it have that kind of content to it but i i told my friends no they don't have that kind of content actually it's a pretty casual casual game but it's it's not like it's bad or anything it's fun it's really fun the story is great the environment is great the graphics are great the characters are great but there's no there's it's just not the kind of games that you wanted it to be but if you're a casual player then play it it's fun for you but if you're kind of hardcore player just wanted to have some battle engaging combat system and combat content into the game no there's not there's nothing to it actually like guilds and stuff no so if you're asking me how willing am i to recommend genshin impact i'm not gonna recommend genshin impact because you know do you have any other comments or thoughts you want to share with us about the current version? Okay, this, this man, this section, man, I, I always fill out, give a paragraph, and a lot of points that what kind of adjustments they should make, what kind of addition of content they should make, guild systems every single time. I just gotta put it into this. It's just there's nothing. They're not going to do anything. It's clearly it's pointless. It's pointless, really. I'm just gonna. Nah, 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 it's not like going to listen to. Nah, it's not. Like, it is not like you're going to listen to us. I mean, that's the truth. That, <laughs> they don't give a damn, actually. If they really do give a damn, they would add endgame content. And they proved. And they, and they proved it. They proved it. They don't give a damn because of anxiety. Nah. Serve complete. Uh, give me the damn moron. <laughs>